Welcome to Photo Shelter, a platform designed to help photographers and brands manage, store, and share their images with ease. Whether you're a professional photographer, a business looking to organize visual assets, or just curious about how Photo Shelter works, this tutorial will walk you through everything step by step. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of its features, pricing, and how different users can benefit from it. So let's get started. When you first visit photoshelter.com, you'll see a navigation bar at the top with five different tabs. You have features, examples, pricing, resources, and for brands. We'll go through each one in detail, starting with the features tab. So when you first click on it, this is where it will take you. So in here, Photo Shelter showcases its core functionalities. This is what makes the platform stand out, whether you're an independent photographer or a large organization managing a media library. So. You have website, storage, effortless e-commerce, efficient delivery and proofing, marketing, and uncompromising security. So, on the website, Photo Shelter provides customizable websites designed for photographers to showcase their work. This means you can create a professional-looking portfolio without needing to learn how to code. So, this is what it looks like. Some key features of Photo Shelter websites include custom themes. You can choose from a variety of themes that match your style, like so, and you could even basically customize it. You have drag and drop builders, makes it easy to organize your galleries and pages, and SEO optimization. It helps your websites rank higher on Google so potential clients can find you. So for example, you're a wedding photographer. You can create a website showcasing your best wedding shots, categorize galleries by event type, and even add a blog to share photography tips. Next, we have the storage. Now, this is one of the biggest concerns for photographers. It's safe and reliable storage. Photo Shelter offers cloud-based storage, meaning your photos are backed up and accessible from anywhere. Some storage benefits include automatic backup, which ensures you never lose your work, fast upload speeds, which handles large raw files without slowing down, and easy file organization, allows you to create folders and tags and search for images quickly. So this is what it looks like. This is what your gallery is going to look like. And you could even have keywords, like for example, you have a picture of a fish somehow. And then you search for fish and that's what's going to appear. So for example, let's say you're a sports photographer covering multiple events. You can store your photos in separate folders for each games, making it easy to find and share specific shots with clients. Next, we have our effortless e-commerce. Sell your way and earn more. Photo Shelter makes it simple for photographers to sell their work online. With its built-in e-commerce tools, you can sell prints, digital downloads, or even license your images for commercial use. Key features include custom pricing, set your own prices for prints and digital files, multiple payment options, this accepts credit cards, PayPal, and other methods, and automated print fulfillment. Partners with professional print labs to handle orders and shipping. So. Once again, another example, if you capture breathtaking landscapes, you can sell high quality prints directly from your photo shelter site. A customer browsing your portfolio could order a framed print and it would be printed and shipped automatically without you lifting a finger. Next, we have our efficient delivery and proofing. This feature is great for photographers working with clients who need to review and approve images. Instead of sending filter via images or external drives, Photo Shelter allows you to send private galleries where clients can view, download, or comment images. So the features of this include password-protected galleries, which ensures only authorized clients can access this, instant image approvals, which clients can mark their private photos, reducing back-and-forth emails, and downloading tracking. Let's you see which emails or images have been accessed. For instance, if you're a commercial photographer working with a fashion brand, you can upload an entire shoot, send a private link to the client, and allow them to pick their preferred image before their final edits. Next, we have marketing. Photo Shelter isn't just for storing and selling your photos, but it also helps you market your work. Some built-in marketing tools include social media integration, which easily shares images on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, email marketing, send newsletters featuring your latest work or promotions, and SEO optimization, which helps people discover your work through search engines. So for example, a travel photographer can create an email campaign showcasing their latest adventure. 
link it to their online store, and drive sales directly from their mailing list. Lastly, we have uncompromising security. Security is a top priority. Photo Shelter ensures that your images are protected with number one, secure cloud storage, which prevents data loss. Watermarking protects your images from unauthorized use. Access control allows you to control who can view your downloads and your photos. So for example, if you're a corporate photographer, you can store confidential event photos without worrying about unauthorized access. So that is all for the features tab. Under examples, this section is useful for inspiration whether you're a wedding photographer, sports photographer, or photojournalist. You can see how others are structured in their portfolios, galleries, and e-commerce stores. The examples tab showcases real-world users who have built their photography based on photo shelter. Next, we have the pricing tab, which of course shows the pricing and subscriptions and plans that they offer. You have three plans, basic, standard, and pro. They vary in prices and of course in features. The higher the tier, the higher the price and the features. So here, as you can see, with the basic as a $10 a month, you only have 4 GB, but here, if you pay 25, you have 100, and here, 45 gives you 500. So it is a big upgrade if you're willing to sacrifice the price. And you even have these different features. Basic doesn't have client proofing tool, but standard and pro does. So I do recommend choosing wisely on which to choose. You could even have it monthly or annually. Of course, annual is cheaper than monthly. If you were to pay monthly for 12 months, it would be way more expensive than just paying one time in the annual payment. And if you're just starting out, you might want to choose the basic plan, while a full-time professional photographer may need the extra features in the pro plan. So it's really up to you and how you're doing. Next, we have the resources tab, which is packed with useful content. You have free business guides, photographer blog, photographer directory, and image search. This section is a must visit for anyone looking to improve their workflow and learn from industry experts. And the last tab, we have four brands. This is tailored for businesses and organizations needing to manage large-scale media libraries. Instead of just an individual photographer, this section is aimed at marketing teams, media organizations, and corporations that handle thousands of digital assets. Features include team collaboration, advanced search and metadata, integration with other platforms. Like for example, a sports league can use photo shelter to store, organize, and share high resolution action shots across its media and marketing teams. And yeah, that is the full breakdown of photoshelter.com. We explored features, examples, pricing, resources, and four brands tabs, covering everything you need to know about this platform. Whether you're a photographer looking for a better way to showcase and sell your work, or a business in need of secure media storage, Photo Shelter has something for you. So that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below if the tutorial worked or if you have any questions. Thank you and goodbye.